Hi guys and welcome back. Now just another quick news video and again I'm only doing this because it's very rarely that within the space of um, 24 hours both big hitters, that being AMD and Intel, come out and talk about CPU platforms. So, um, only a few days ago, um, in fact it was September the 19th in Beijing, Intel actually did a presentation and they showed a 10 nanometer wafer for Canon Lake. Um, now they'd already showed a laptop earlier in the year with the Canon Lake badge on it, but no one was really sure um, when that was going to come out. Um, now it seems pretty obvious that TSMC and Intel have got their act together. They've got 10 nanometer working. At least that's what they would like you to think now that they're displaying one of the wafers publicly and it's also going to support PCIe 4. Now, on its own, that wouldn't be that interesting because that would just be Intel's kind of TikTok, um, if you like, their, their TikTok way of doing things. What is interesting, however, is that less than 24 hours later AMD also held a held a news conference at Global Foundries where <clears throat> Mark Papermaster announced that both Zen and Vega would be transitioning to the 10 nanometer LP process in 2018. Now that brings up a lot of questions um, the first one for me is this new 12 nanometer process going to be a die shrink for Vega and Zen? Um, could this be the Zen Plus or Zen 2 architecture that AMD have been talking about all year, which I thought was going to be going up to 7 nanometers initially. So there's lots of things that are quite interesting at the moment. Um, if it is just a node shrink, it's kind of the equivalent to Intel's tick for um, uh, AMD. They've never usually done that, but that, that could be what they're doing now. They could design the architecture so they could have released Zen in 2017. They refine the process and then they do a node shrink the following year and then in 2019 or the end of 2018 you would see Zen plus a whole new architecture on say 7 nanometers. You'd have to expect that they would go for less than 10 given that Intel are now widely expected to be releasing 10 nanometer chips to the public in 2018. Um, it's very very interesting because yet again um, it means that AMD are going to be on the back foot. Uh, we already know that Intel have better IPC than AMD. We know that now from Zen and uh, from Kaby Lake that's out at the moment. Um, so if you couple that higher IPC with a much smaller node than AMD are going to be offering, and possibly no architectural improvement from AMD on Zen when it moves to 12 nanometers other than the node shrink, so say some power efficiencies, which to be honest, Zen won't benefit from that much, but Vega will benefit from a fair bit because it is a power hungry card. Although how much difference two nanometers is gonna make is you know anyone's guess, I'm not sure. But it does mean that yet again AMD are gonna be playing catch up. Um now I think this is gonna be the case for another couple of years until Zen Plus, the next iteration of Zen, if you like, is released on seven nanometers. I think then when that's finally re released, you will see an IPC gain and you will see power efficiency gains, etc., etc. Um, but I think next year, what you're going to see is you're pretty much going to have the same scenario that we had this year, where you have Intel releasing a product that's probably, in my view, still going to be slightly overpriced when you look at the product skew between both companies, but it's going to have slightly better, I well, probably at least 10% better IPC, it's going to be on a smaller process. Um, and so the next iteration of Zen will come out next year. And the Node Shrink will bring performance um, improvements, but I just don't know how good they'll be. So basically, guys, I suppose the message is that Intel's still ahead on the tech front. AMD are playing catch up. Um, Zen is going to get smaller. Vega is going to get smaller. Um, and that's really it. I think next year we're going to be in the same situation that we are in this year so that's the video guys if you like it you know what to do give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it well it's recorded now there's not much i can do leave a comment i'll try and address it for you if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and if you're not new to the channel don't forget to share the content let's try and keep the growth going i keep saying this um 
and you know we keep kind of going up and then it keeps going back down again so it'd be great if we could hit that thousand subs by the end of the year um i've got quite a good giveaway planned for the end of the year um but i'll leave it at that i won't tell you until we get closer to the target anyway guys bye and thanks for watching this Thank <laughs> you.